All right, so I think what I'm wanting right now is a sound effect for when you change gravity direction. So I'm wanting both a up tilting, like a da do da do, but I don't want it to be too intrusive. So I got to figure out a way to make it sort of a short sound effect. So if I increase the amount on this mod envelope. And that gives us the... Okay, so that's a little bit long-winded, but we can also make it go back down, I think. Okay, so uh, how can I make this go faster? I think the attack... That's, that's getting there. Whoa. All right, so I think that's our sound effect. So uh, now I need to get it to where it's exactly where. Uh, what key was I hitting just now? Okay, so I was, I was hitting the second C. All right, second C. So then I want on this track here. Let's go to pencil edit mode. Edit mode? Edit mode. Okay, so we want C2. Okay. So let's just pin that out a little bit. Well, that's going to be too much. All right, so how long exactly do we want it to be? I can't remember how to zoom in laterally like this. How do you do that? Oh! What just happened? I want to go back. I don't like this. Oh shit! Oh, I'm in, I'm in specifically in the sequencer. Hey, you know what? That's okay. I just want to figure out how to zoom in on the uh, timeline here. No, that's almost what I need, but not quite. Uh, is it like no, no? Oh. No, that's getting, we're so close. Oh, it's down here. That's what it is. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so I want some extreme control here. All right, how long do I want this to be? That's the question. Let's try just two blocks. Not long enough. Is that going to be too intrusive? Do I need to make it a little faster? Is it 91 right now? That's a little too fast. Let's try 80, 85, or 
That's too fast. Let's try it at that, see what it sounds like. That's not bad. What does it sound like at two blocks? I think that's our sound effect. Well, let's try that. Yep. Call it Doppler up. I'm curious. It said 98 bars just then. There's no way that that... I bet it's like that and a bunch of silence. Three minutes and 20 seconds of silence. Yep. Okay, so we got to pare this down a bit. Just a, just a bit. Okay. Still three minutes and 20 seconds of silence. What if we do export loop? I think that's what this is. I think that's what the LNR is. Is export loop. I bet I got an. Oh, yeah, I got this down here. That's where the song ends. Okay. So, yeah, let's do export loop as audio file. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So now, let's invert. And let's move this up. It's going to need to come up a lot. Whoa, what just happened? Okay. All right, let's try that. Doppler down. Okay, so we should have two sound effects in here now. Okay, so let's uh, add to our gravity switch script. Down shit.
All right, so if our gravity dot y is uh, less than zero, that means we have normal gravity. So we need to play downshift. Okay. By the way, we'll go ahead and stop both of these in case they are already playing. Else up shift dot play. Okay. Now, before I get any further into this, I want to bring in one of my previous assets from old Project Go. Um, I want the uh, game options. Yeah, this is what I want. Game options. So... So now, bringing in the game options should have brought me in a music and a, and a sound effect mixer. Yep. There it is. So I don't have to put my game options in the game just yet, but I do want to on the uh, on here, on the player prefab. I want to assign these sounds that I'm about to do to the mix. Doppler up. Put down. Said the opposite of what I actually did. We don't want play on awake on either of these. And then on my gravity switch, we want Doppler down and Doppler up. Well, let's see what that's like. It's probably going to sound batshit. Whoa! Ha! Ah! Yeah, that's perfect. That sounds great. Really. Truly. Uh, That's the opposite of the way it should be. Okay. I think I want to take the volume of these down considerably. I think on point five. But also we want to put them on the SFX mix. Very good.
Yeah, it's a less it's less intrusive when uh, when it's about half volume. Probably also gonna sound better with music behind it. Okay. Do I need to tighten this up at all? Let's just experiment with a little bit different attack values. Where's my damn sequencer? Okay, if, um, if it's going to be that much quicker, maybe we can take it down to two blocks. Nah, I'm going to leave it alone for now. Uh, I'll ask Andrew about it later. We'll see what he thinks. <sighs> for now, um, let's make another sound effect. So I want the laser blast this time. So I think if we turn off the... Um, I wonder if we... Listen to that. I like that. That's a good laser. I think higher. Or lower. Nope. Oh, it sounds so pitiful when you hold it down. What is a mess with the decay? Nothing. All right, let's try that. I like that. Or does it need to be higher? Okay, I think that's good. So let's export our loop. Lasers. Laser fire. Okay. So now let's add that. That's very simple to accomplish because I have this laser beam prefab. All I have to do is add this sound to this and it'll play on awake. So let's see what that looks like. Oh, I need to go to a level that has lasers in it, I think. I mean, I can get there quickly enough. Need a death sound effect. Here we go. Oh, that's perfect. 
That's perfect. Oop. All right, now let's work on a death sound effect. I think I have a good uh, idea of how to do the explosion using the same premise. I can just use one of these lower keys. Except I need to take the attack up a little bit. Is that good enough? You know what might would help here? Is if I added some distortion to it. We'll try screen four. Try the fuzz. See, that doesn't sound digital anymore. I like the basic distortion. Try the tube. I like that. Let's go back and compare it with the normal distortion. Okay, I'm good with that. So what key was I hitting there? Call it F. So in our sequencer. <laughs> I think we we're down to C two F C two F. I like that. Export loop as audio file. Okay. I'll get to that later because I need to make an explosion happen along with the sound effect. So what other... Um, Actually, I already have a prefab for that. Player death. There's just nothing in it. So we'll add that sound into it. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. <laughs> That's way too... <laughs> way too loud. I got a crying baby in the background. What is going on upstairs? We'll cut that down to half. Or, yeah. All 
I want to get one of these laser stage. See what it sounds like when you die to a laser. I like it. Okay. Good sound effects so far. Really pleased with the with my uh, results here. Nice digitally made sound effects. Homemade sound effects here. Get your homemade sound effects. Uh, okay. So we've got laser fire check, explosion check. Is there anything else? I think I want to play some sort of sound effect when you pick up the crystal. Which, by the way, what the fuck is that crystal? i got to come up with a story for this thing, man. Oh, God, why do I suck at the story part of this thing? That's what I need Andrew for. Uh, so, I need a collection sound effect, I think, for the... When, when you actually pick the thing up. So, let's get rid of this scream device. Yeah, that's fine. I want the reverse. Oh, that's too fast. Oh, God. What if I just took the uh, this envelope off? And we'll turn the oscillator off, too. Um, what if we do two, a C and C? Um, that's cool, but uh, what if I add some distortion back to it again? Scream 4. Oh, uh, hey, Lucas, I see you. I, see you in the, I didn't see you in the chat there. Uh, what do you think about the way that it sounds like when, the laser only hits the player? So, like, uh, here's what here's what it'll be like when, oh, shit. It'll make that same sound effect when the player dies. So, when you get hit by the, so is, is that enough oomph, do you think? What do you think about that? And also, I want to know what you think about the gravity sound effects. Is it too much? Too intrusive? I go back and forth on it quite a bit. Let's get a fuzz. Damage control. Oh, I like that. That sounds good. So that's uh, B and B. Okay. So then let's record that. Uh, let's go back to our sequencer. Uh, I want to delete this. Okay. All right. I want to know what that... I might tweak this a little bit. Oh, God, that sounds horrible when I hold it like that. Ugh, I need this stuff to snap. No, I like it overlapped. No, that's too much. Uh, how do I turn off snap on this thing? Uh, so, Lucas, th there are two gravity sound effects. Um, I don't know how well it's coming through this stream, but one of them goes up, like, doo -doo -doo -doo, and the other one goes, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, here, I'll play them real quick. So this one, the up, and here's the down. See the difference? Uh, if, if you can't hear the difference in the game, that's maybe a design fault on my part. All right, how do I turn off snap?
There's got to be a way to do this. There's like some sort of little magnet. Where in the hell? I'm just gonna re-record it. What was it, G and G or B and B? No, it was higher than that. No, 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 no. That wasn't B at all, by the way. That was like C, B. That was A. Okay. That's too far apart. I don't like it. too close together. Which one of these do I like the best? I think either this one or the one next to it. Yeah, I think this is the one. So let's delete all the rest of this other stuff. Let's add this over here. Uh, I'm trying to think of a way I can differentiate those sounds a little better. Um, dang. That's tough. I'll have to think about that. We'll cut it off there. Alright, I like that for a pickup sound effect. So, export loop. Pick up. Okay, let's see what that ends up sounding like. Yeah, good. So, then, um, I think I'm going to make some sort of prefab that happens when you pick up the the crystal. Uh, well, I don't want to do it here. We'll do it. Or actually, yeah, we can do it here. Create prefab. Can you do that? I guess not. Never mind. Let's create an empty crystal pickup. I'm going to add visual effects to these in the next iteration uh, here in a minute after I get done with sound. But I'm just going to add the sound to that. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put some of these on the sound effects audio mixer. Okay. So that's going to play on the wake. Uh, so I need to make a prefab of that. Okay, so now in my crystal script, this crystal is just an afterthought. Like this, this crystal is just to give some sort of indication to like, hey, game's over, because I didn't think about story the slightest bit for this. Uh, so let's make a public game object uh, crystal pickup. And then I'm going to instantiate crystal pickup on my transform dot position, transform dot rotation. Yeah. Actually, I don't want that. I want quaternion dot identity. It shouldn't matter, but I just want this thing to be straight up and down. Okay. So there's that. So. On my crystal on the last level here. This probably needs to be a 
Eh, it doesn't really need to be a prefab. I'll make it one just because, but it's not being used in any of the levels. So the crystal pickup, pop that in there. Okay, so if I play this one, I'm liking the way this is sounding. I might need a sound effect for when the ball crashes. I'm not sure about that yet. I also realized that my crystal pickup's not doing anything to determine whether or not it's you that it's hitting. So I think we need to say, like, their uh, player equals collision dot get component player machine. And if player equals null, return. Okay. So that way it only happens when you hit the player. So, uh... I mean, it's a really primitive sound effect for the crystal, but honestly, like, I could care less about this crystal at this point. This is just to give you some closure. Uh... I think I'm going to add the little explosion sound effect. Uh, maybe I could make like a slightly... Uh, I could make a, a slightly different pitched version of it or something to for when the energy ball crashes. So let's add some script here to my... Do I have a script for the energy ball? I don't think I do. All right. So let's make one. Uh, we'll, we'll call it physics crash. Okay. All right. So basically on this one, we want a, well, we do want, I think we do want to start because I need to get a hold of our R body. Equals, oh, get component rigid body 2D. Uh, and then make a field for our body. And then let's do our on collision enter 2D. So I want to say on this collision enter, if our body dot velocity is greater than uh, cutoff, and we'll introduce a property for cutoff. Uh, oh, Velocity that magnitude, and I want that to be a float. Oh God! And I want to get rid of this auto property stuff so that the Unity editor can see it. So if our velocity is greater than the cutoff, we're gonna play sound, and we'll generate that method here real quick. And so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say crash sound. Equals get component, audio source, make a field for this, and we're going to say um, if crash sound dot playing, if not crash sound is playing, crash sound dot play. No, play. Okay. That's easy enough. So I'm going to add that to my energy ball prefab. This time I'm going to put the sound on the uh, thing so it has its own audio source on the object because we're going to be pulling that via code. Sound effects mixer group like I've been forgetting with some of these other things. Um, I'm going to make the volume about like... 0.3 or something like that. I don't want it to be crazy every time you every time that makes a crash. And so now I just need to add that script that I just made, physics crash. And I want the cutoff to be like, let's just try one at first. See what that's like. Am I on a level with the uh oh it played on awake. No. It needs to be a higher cutoff, clearly. Let's go to a different scene that is easier to mess with the uh, energy ball. OK. 
Okay. Um, go back to our prefab. The cutoff is going to be, let's say, I don't know, two. Let's just keep raising it up there until it works. Well, the two's not letting it play at all, so that's cool. One point five, maybe. Okay. Let's have a little debug log action here. See what the norm nominal values are. I think I've got some other debug log I need to kill because that's going to hide all the rest of my shit. Oh, okay. So I'm seeing some high values here, like 7 and 6. Why is that not causing my thing to play? I know that's greater than cutoff. Play sound and crash sound is playing to play. Hmm. I don't understand. Uh, for one thing, I'm going to tell this thing not to play on Awake anymore. Huh. Well, that's weird. It played the first time and then never again. So that makes me think that it's something to do with this is playing. Uh, instead of this, I think I'm going to do crash sound dot stop, crash sound dot play, and then I'll rely on the cutoff to only do this as often as it needs to, you know. I don't get it. I mean, I'm seeing some of these like e to the negative five values, but they're also like some values like seven and six and shit. Like, what's going on here? Wait, oh, all these new values are like really infinitesimally small, and I don't know why. Like e to the negative eleven. Um, why is this happening? Um. I wonder if it's because it's colliding with the edge to the left and it's reading that collision rather than the one on the bottom. But but even if it was doing that, you would think that it would uh, constantly be reading the, uh, the velocity. Man, Unity physics gets really complicated sometimes. Uh, why are we getting all these infinitesimally small values? Um, the velocity dot magnitude should be. Uh, you know what? Let's just debug our velocity. See what that looks like. Take magnitude out of the equation. This is kind of unnecessary. I'm not sure that we need a sound effect for the. Oh. Well, now it seems like it's working. <laughs> you know what I think's happening? I'm thinking that, like, for some reason... The velocity, by the time it's done its collision, it's like it stopped moving or something. This is the craziest thing. Why is it just reading straight up zero, zero, zero? I 
I think I got to get the door from the sounds of it. Let me check Nest. Oh, this just looks like a prime package, actually. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it was Amazon. Okay. I'm at a, I'm at a loss here. I think I'm just gonna give up on this one temporarily. Cause I think, and it also sounds too much like the players dying. So I'm just gonna cancel this for now. I'll come back to this later, maybe. All right. So we've got sound effect for the laser firing, the player dying. The gravity up and down. I don't think I'm going to do a... Yeah, yeah, but I don't know why it's thinking that uh, it doesn't move. I'm thinking that like by the time that it registers the collision entering, that it's already... The, the rigid body velocity already reads zero. Uh, <laughs> it's like some sort of timing issue. It's like by the time it reads the collision, it's already stopped. As opposed, you know, despite the fact that it was just moving very fast. So I think what I would have to do on that script is put something in there that said, like, well, I could try that. I could put something in here that says, like, you know, what the most recent velocity was or something. Uh, um, I don't want to fool with it right now, though. I'd have to, like, average out the last five velocities or something, you know. Uh and I don't know if I like it as a sound effect for that thing anyway. Uh, I think less is more on sound effects. I think I got dinged. My last game did really poorly in audio. I think it was because it had too many sound effects and people got annoyed. So I think I'm just going to move on. Uh, so I've got... I'm not going to do a jump sound effect. I'm just going to do the gravity sound effect, the laser sound effect, and the death sound effect. And I think I'm set. Um, so now what? Now there's music. Uh, I need to think about that. But, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do there yet. I could try my hand at it real quick and see what I can do. Let's just start a uh, new reason file. So, something I like to start with with music is just a basic redrum thing uh let's just like set some stuff in here let's see I, I'll go 4 and 12 and then where's the... Okay, so this one. And obviously I'm not going to stick with this. But the main point I want... I just want to get this redrum started so that I can mess around with the uh, distortion because that's how you make it sound... That's how you make it sound like a... Uh, Sort of an 8 bitty kind of sound effect. Okay. 
So what do I actually want to do in terms of a now that I now that I think I like what's going on here. What would make the game feel better to play? Um, I don't know. Uh, that, that, that's sort of the you know the million dollar question. Uh, but unfortunately, it's Sunday and I don't have a whole lot more time to put into this. So I believe that uh, I'm pretty much set on. You know, I, I've got twelve levels right now, uh, with like three different hazard mechanics. So I feel like I'm pretty set on that, on that front. But uh, I don't know. Right now, I'm just trying to work on sound and music so I can get this thing put to bed. Well, hi. Hi there, sweet pea. What you doing? She got in here and she gets when she reaches a point of hunger. <laughs> yeah, I know. I heard her earlier. Hi, honey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they even came with string. Isn't that awesome? It is. Oh, look, honey. Mm hmm? That's some very exciting balloons. Oh my gosh. I didn't know it included all that. It's very exciting. Hi. Hi, book. Mm. Hey, hon, I'm going to finish up what I'm doing right here and then I'll, like, rejoin society. Okay. Do you, can I just show you what this is first? Okay. What do you got? Mm-hmm. The donut balloon, that's the... Oh. That smells like... Zero. Okay, never mind. I don't want to get all this out. Okay. I'll be upstairs here in like 30 minutes or so. All right, take this, baby. Oh, you got to pack all that stuff back up. <laughs> Are you a happy girl? All right. Oh, you want to see what daddy Sounds, uh, What do I want to... I want like a boom, ba boom, boom, ba So let's start with a boom, ba boom, boom. Oh yeah, I got to get rid of all this stuff. Boom, boom. Nope, a little oil. Okay. Boom, cap, boom, cap. Yeah, I nailed that right on the first try there. Fourteen on the on the hat. On the snare. Okay, I'm liking that pretty good. Maybe I up the tempo a little bit. That's a good. Okay, so maybe if I add a little bit more. Okay, so I need like a. Okay, I like that. So it's gonna be boom da boom da like that. So on four and six, let's say. Oh, that's a bit much. So I 
I can always turn down the volume on these drums. Okay. See a little, maybe a little. Alright, that's a good start. Now, here's where the music starts to get real difficult because I suck at piano. So, let's uh, try to get some sort of new... We'll do new combinator. Because now i got to write like a little... Uh, I don't know if I want to start with bass or some kind of melody or rhythm. Or do I do like a matrix sequencer maybe? Let's see. Uh, let's start with a ma maelstrom. See what kind of default stuff they have. Wait, what was that? That's kind of cool. Let's digitize it. I have no idea what kind of, like, what overall thing I want to go for with my music. Okay. Let's run the redrum. I hate that so much. God, there's something about that that just gets under my fingernails. I just really don't like it. God, that's awful. Um, okay. Let's find some other patches. section here that's pretty cool didn't know that you know I need to turn this off for now let's just see how that sounds without the distortion You know what? I honestly don't have time for this right now. <laughs> uh, like, it would be fun to sit and spend my entire day dicking around trying to make a sound effect in Reason. I mean, a, an actual song in Reason. But I think I suck too badly for that right now. So I'll go with the old hat. This will be the one piece of pre-made asset that gets pulled into this game. Because I just don't have time to make music. So I like going here to the free music archive. You got royalty-free music here. And I like the chiptune genre. I've used a couple of these in like my videos and past games before. That's pretty cool. Right off the bat, that's pretty cool. So I'm thinking I want something sort of futuristic sounding and maybe with a slight dark tone to it. Because my guy is sort of like a some sort of cyber ninja. I honestly, I've written no story for this thing, which makes picking stuff like music very hard. That's too emo. Also, don't want to have something that's super intrusive. That's pretty cool. Uh. This guy, Rocco W., I've had his stuff before. He's super good. That that one's kind of weird sounding. <laughs> oh, 
I have specifically used this in my Phi Beta Scalpha videos before this song right here. Yeah, this visitor guy is a little bit too moody for me, I think. This one hat was promising. But it's just not going anywhere. Whoa! I'd have to turn it down to like 10%. That's crazy. I've also used scar saw square noise before. I want to hear that one from the second line. This one's nice. corn here. Ooh. I like this. This is nice and cybery sounding. Kind of reminds me of uh, the crystal method. Ooh, that's hot. It's got a cyberpunk feel to it. I don't know if saxophone will fit my game though. Oh man. Yeah, no. It's a really cool song, but it ain't gonna work. This one go anywhere? It's too crazy. That's way too nuts. I think I'm gonna have to skip this whole guy. Too happy, Rocco. Still too happy, Rocco. That one's got that one's got like vocal samples in it, man. If it didn't have vocal samples in it. Ah, vocal samples. I 
All right, I get the theme of this one. Prince of Persia. Rocco, what's up, buddy? That's the music I used for my last game. Right there, that's it. God, Rocco's so dope. If I have to pick a song called Electric Donkey Muscles. Ooh, I might have to. Alright, that's the current front runner. Electric Donkey Muscles by Rocco W is the front runner right now. That's on page thirteen. Actually, I just go download it. See if this picks up. I don't think it's going to.
Ooh. Rocco never fails to impress. This is super dope. I'm taking this one as well. I wish I could just sort by artist up here. If you click this, it takes you to a page that doesn't exist. One more song to choose between three. It's too much. Well, this one's kind of Mega Manny. So many of these. Ooh. I like this a lot. This would play in well if I came up with some sort of cockamamie story that tied into the theme about justice. Let's see where it goes on the uh, on the chorus here or whatever. I like it. I like it. It reminds me of like Ninja Gaiden or something. I think this is the one. So I think that's the one, man. Uh, so I'm going to work on getting my sound options stuff in here. Because something I do with music, uh, I don't know how everybody else does music, but I I do a don't destroy unload, keep it singleton throughout the game. So I'm going to go to scene one here. And I believe in my... Project Go stuff. Game options. Uh, I got just got a settings prefab. Okay. And now my settings prefab has the event system built in. That's good. So here's my music, and this doesn't get destroyed on load. That's what that's what I want. Uh so in my sound here, we'll take the Nils five oh five dark uh put on the music audio mix that's good i want the volume uh, yeah about a quarter that's right see what it see, see what, how it feels the music's a bit overpowering right now what was that that was the collection oh i remember why because i just had a random thing in there <laughs> i need to take that out Yeah, you can't hear anything other than music right now, for sure. Okay. So, even lower?
Man, am I going to have to set the default for the music mix, like, lower than the sound effects? It's kind of, uh, okay, so one of the things that this settings prefab that I have here does, it allows you, right off the bat, just out of the box, uh, to hit escape, and, well, I don't have any controls set up, that's fine, uh, but I, I can adjust, oh, Yeah, I can adjust the music and sound. What does that need to be to be appropriate? A little higher. All right, so let's see where it's at now. Where's my sound mixer? All right, so right now, the sound effects is at a four, and the music's at a one. Oh, that music clip's really short. Needs a loop for sure. Okay, it does. That's driving me nuts. I gotta get rid of that. This thing, it's gotta go. Okay, there we go. Back to scene one. Okay. So I think the music needs to be a, maybe a zero, or no, did we say two and four by default? Now does that get set by my sliders? No, it doesn't appear to. Okay, so I think that's the thing I need to do in my sliders. Audio controls, music slider. So... Oh, you know what? If I use this, I'm going to get disqualified because my uh, colors are wrong. I need to, I got to change these colors. Oh, no, I can't. I can't use this. I can't use this at all. I'm going to have to shit. <sighs> Unless I want to completely redo these sliders and stuff, uh, I'm going to get hit for not having the right. These are I don't have black and white and gray and shit in my that sucks. That really sucks. Okay, so let's let's do this then. Let's uh Man, that sucks. We'll just turn the audio controls off, I guess, or remove it. That blows. I really hate that. And then uh I think we got to get rid of the main. Oh, man, I just don't need any part of this. Fuck, we're going to have to get rid of this whole thing. That's fine. That's fine. Just delete it. Uh, 
That sucks. I hate... This is why I hate themes like this. Because it limits the amount of stuff. Like, I would have to completely redo all the visuals for those controls in order to make it work for this color scheme. And I just don't want to do that. So, but I still have my music playing in here. So, I think I should be able to set that from the audio mixer. Does this feel good? Let's take it down to one or two or zero. I think zero to four feels good. I'm liking it so far.
All right, I'm going to call it a day on sound effects for now. Uh, yeah. <laughs>